have to get another truck on this one. Um, that's where I took my stepdaughter hunting for the youth season on the 14th. There's a dog out here barking. He shot Goblin at the top of this ridge on this permission farm I got. They, uh, for the youth season, they were across the road here. But they're back here up on the top of this ridge. six or seven deer in the field too. Once this truck goes by all these new men up there. Well this one's gobbling sounds like a Jake, but there was four long beards in this field the day the Saturday at youth season. It is April 24th. I just got pulled in here to this permission form. It's our hide yesterday. I didn't get to really talk. After I left, I had to get to work at 9 o'clock. I hunted that bird until about 7.30, 7.45. They were on the same flat that I was on. I thought that they kind of just they pitched down. I seen them come up over the ridge. They went down the other side. But when I started backing out, I had to grab my decoy and I kind of peeked out into the path. Seen a black blob, grabbed my binos, threw it up, and it was that long beard and he was actually breeding one of the hens. <gasps> so this morning, um, I can hunt till about 9 or so. I'm going to sneak out that path just a touch farther than what I did yesterday. If they do the same thing, come up on the top of that ridge and want to feed, do whatever, it should be a pretty decent shot um, yesterday I just got in there a little too late and set up too far close to the right of way and just about 20 yards inside the woods instead of being in the woods a little bit farther than is where I needed to be so, it's uh, 5.30 I'm definitely ahead of schedule than I was yesterday because it was about 6 when I got in here so I'm going to Get the gun loaded up, get everything else loaded in my pack, and start making this walk.
That's a Jake, 100%. Freaking got it, baby. Let's go. <sighs> Holy 
Holy cow. Oh. Oh, I worked for that one. I don't know if this camera's focused or not. Alright guys, here he is. Um, this was the bird I was on yesterday morning. And uh, like I said, I had to leave for work. I snuck out of here and didn't bump him, nothing like that. Um, the hen he was with, she actually came in, I think right as they flew down. And uh, put it a couple times and I thought, uh, I thought it was game over. I thought he was right there behind her somewhere close. But it turns out him and two other jakes were out this ridge line here and I just kept my patience and kept the faith that he was going to make a mistake and come up there i happened to see one of the jakes first one that was gobbling all morning and uh you know i didn't i knew the long beard was in here somewhere but i didn't know if he was going to be that close behind him or not and uh I happened to see that Jake come through a little little tree. I just happened to see a leaf move and I seen the big red head. He kept coming closer and closer and I looked behind him and this guy was standing there and I seen the beard. And I said, there he is. And, uh, you know, it's, it's challenging when you do the self film stuff and this was definitely uh, one of the most rewarding things I've done that come in here and get that on video I was just fired up morning they were hammering the whole time and it was just it was beautiful sun's coming out colors of this bird you know it was just a just a great day overall and I'm gonna get some pictures and stuff here make some phone calls to some of the guys and uh, Try to get one. Try to get one in uh, West Virginia. Got a couple of places there. So, Ohio season's done, but turkey season is far from over. But that's my first kill. First video is being part of the Buckeye Boys Outdoors. So, thank you guys for bringing me onto the team. Really appreciate it.